Southwest, American and Alaska Airlines reported third-quarter losses. Executives say passengers aren't likely to return in full force until COVID-19 vaccine becomes widely available. Summer was a bust for U.S. airlines. Now they are anxiously watching a fragile uptick in demand to see if it will hold as the number of new coronavirus cases increases. Southwest Airlines Company and American Airlines Group Incorporated both tempered their plans for summer flying after rising COVID-19 infection rates triggered a new round of travel restrictions. Airlines' losses are mounting as revenues plunge during what is typically their most lucrative season. Southwest lost nearly $1.2 billion during the quarter. American lost $2.4 billion. Alaska Air Group Incorporated on Thursday reported losing $431 million. Rivals United Airlines Holdings Incorporated and Delta Airlines Incorporated also reported massive losses during the third quarter last week. After spending the summer cooped up at home, however, Americans are tentatively starting to travel again. Transportation Security Administration data on airport security screenings show that more people are traveling now than they have since mid-March, when the pandemic brought normal daily life in much of the U.S. to a near standstill. Hawaii had more than 65,000 travelers arrive in the islands in the first week of its pre-travel coronavirus testing program, a state effort to get the tourism-based economy moving again amid the pandemic. State officials said in an email to the Associated Press on Friday that 66,644 people were screened between the October 15 launch and Thursday. Of those visitors, including returning residents, tourists and others, 41,783 tested negative for the coronavirus and were allowed to skip the previously required two weeks of quarantine. Some people came to Hawaii with the wrong kind of test. The state accepts only negative nucleic acid amplification tests. Other travelers on the same flights chose to come to Canary Islands added to UK's safe travel list. UK tourists seeking winter sun have been given a boost after Spain's Canary Islands and the Maldives were added to the government's safe travel list. It means visitors will no longer need to quarantine for 14 days on their return, with the Greek island of Mykonos in Denmark also deemed safe. The changes apply to anyone arriving in the UK after 4 o'clock BST on Sunday. But Liechtenstein has been taken off the list, so arrivals must isolate. The changes apply to citizens from England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales. Japan and China are likely to resume travel between the two countries for business people this month as part of Tokyo's efforts to revive its domestic economy, local media reported on Tuesday. Japan and China are extremely important neighbors to each other, and there had been many reciprocal trips before the outbreak of the coronavirus, Kyoto News Agency quoted Chief Cabinet Secretary Katsunobu Kato as addressing a news conference. It is extremely important that economic exchanges between Japan and China return to a recovery path through the resumption of travel, he added. Travel between the world's second and third biggest economic powers is expected to resume this month as officials from both countries are discussing ways to reopen their borders for business people, according to the agency. Last month, the Chinese president and Japanese prime minister agreed in their first telephone call after Japan's premier took office to continue talks in hopes of achieving a speedy resumption of business travel. In 2019, over 9.5 million Chinese, including business people, visited Japan. Japan has so far reached agreements with South Korea, Vietnam, and Singapore to restart short-term business trips. Tokyo had banned the entry of foreign nationals in February following the coronavirus outbreak in the country. Japan has so far recorded 93,436 COVID-19 cases with 1,676 deaths, while China's total number of infections stood at 91,006 with 4,739